What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna give y'all a night tour of my cars. For all your new subscribers uh, that's recently subscribed to the channel, thank you. I appreciate your support. So with that being said, uh, we're gonna go in the garage. I'm gonna show you my cars uh, and everything and I'm gonna walk over with everything I've done to them. So with that being said, let's get out here and let's check them out. All right, let's get out of this garage and see what's going on. <clears throat> So as you see, as soon as you walk in the garage, you see the Z01. The Z01 right here, the Grand National over there. So yeah, I know it's kind of dark in here, guys. Uh, let me see if I can get some light going on. All right, I finally got the light going on. So like I say, this is the Z01 right here, 2017 Z01. Currently, it's pushing 846 to the wheels. I think it's pushing more than that, but uh, they dyno 846. This right here is probably 700 horsepower, uh, Grand National. So let's get started on the ZL1. Like I say, this is late night, you know what I'm saying? And uh, all the new subscribers, I know y'all seen my cars uh, somewhere but y'all have not really know what's in these cars. So with that being said, I'm gonna show y'all what's in these cars, man. Let's get started. All right, as you can see, this is a 2017 ZL1, late night footage, late night footage. Uh, I really don't, I really hate doing this, but let me pop this hood real quick and I'll show y'all what I got going on in this car. This is a very clean car I got from Florida. It, it came out of Florida. So it's a very clean car. Yeah. And I think when I, I can't remember the miles I had it. Uh, when I got it, I can't remember how I many, like 17,000 miles on it, I think. Let's pop this to it. So this is it right here, it's an LT4, guys. I'm gonna go over some of the mods. I might forget some of the stuff, but to nevertheless, it's 842 to the wheels, 846 to the wheels, a uh, thousand, a little over a thousand to the crank. So I'm gonna go over what I've done to it. The supercharger has been ported by Kong Performance. It's their export. This right here, top secret information, guys, top secret. This is what gives the power. This is the gives give the power. I don't wanna give all my secrets, but I might give all my secrets, it don't matter. This right here is exported by Kong Performance. Um, that right there is, that's, that's, the, that's the sauce right there in this car. And it came with their pulley. I don't know what size of pulley that is. Let's see here. I don't know it's a size somewhere. Uh, it's probably at the bottom. Uh, guys, I ain't gonna lie, but I don't know what the size of the pulley is. I thought it was in the front somewhere up here. Uh, there it is. This is the size of the, the top pulley. It's a 2.3. And then, you know, I had to get the lower pulley. It's a 9.55 pulley. And it works perfect with this blower right here. Top secret information, classified. Y'all the first one to know. That pulley, that supercharger gives all the power. Enough said. Let's go to home. Then I got meth, dual nozzle, methanol injection about alkyl control. My mouth catch can, dual nozzle with the uh, alkyl. I don't remember if said that, but dual nozzle. Then I got the uh, big gulp. Then I got the cam, uh, Texas speed headers, 
going back to a Corsa exhaust all the way back from the uh, X pipe all the way back to the exhaust. It's all Corsa. So let's say guys, this is late night footage, late night footage. This is exclusive. Uh, I just want to give y'all guys some good content. All your new subscribers, this is it. Z01. It's a bad boy right here. This bad boy. It's real loud. Neighbors don't like me. They quit talking to me, but that's cool. I don't really care. But yeah. So LT4. Yeah, guys. It's a super simple bolt-on, uh, simple kit you can get. Not a, it's not a kit, but uh, the guys who did this for me is Race Proven Performance in Harrisburg, Kentucky. Um, if y'all really want to get some information about them, they hooked this up and they did a really good job. They put out horsepower. Uh, I can go more with horsepower, uh, probably about a thousand to the wheels, or not a thousand, but nine hundred to the wheels. But I don't want to run E85, so this is off of pump gas and uh, methanol. 846 to the wheels. So, yeah. Late night footage in the garage. Subscribe to the channel, guys. This car is in good condition. Paint corrected, everything done to it. Bozelic black. You see those flakes popping. And this is just in the garage and it is dirty. Look at that. Yep. Bozelic black. But yeah, this, this, this thing right here is a beast. And I have not yet floored. I've floored it probably once. No, I have not. I take it back. I have not. Usually when I race a car, I, I I only give it what it needs to do. But, and I had to get some, uh, got tires are on this. Tell your tires. And it's the R888 right there. That's why I got on both of my cars. That's what you need for you want to want these stock uh, cars with a lot of power. Another plug. Uh, if you run a lot of boost and a lot of horsepower, you want those tires. Also, I got them on this right here. If you can see. Yep. These things grip. All right, guys, enough of that car right there. Like I say, this is my 2017 ZL1 Camaro. And let's go on to this one right here. This right here is my 1987 Buick Grand National with the GNX kit. So, yeah, let's get it sitting in this cockpit real quick. Yeah, I don't think I got the keys for this one. I know I got the one for the Camaro. But yeah. Let me go get the keys for this and we'll light this thing up and see what's on here. All right, so I got the keys. That's what everything looks like when it's lit up. Um, I definitely need to get my bulb fixed for this right here. It might be just loose wire for my boost gauge. That's the most important thing. Turn it in. All right. Got my boost gauge right here. Transmission cooler. A temp right here. Shift light. Uh, what else? Then I have the Scan Master. That's built, uh, not built, but it's made for the uh, classic fast system that I'm running. So. Then I got the, uh, then again, I got the alkyl control uh, in this car also. Oil pressure, 
temperature. Then I got the uh, 442 uh, the Hertz shifters in here. It's really nice. The last transmission I had, reason why I got this in here, guys, uh, the last transmission I had, um, it had a trans brake on it where you can pull all these back. Hold on a second. You can pull all these levers back, this one, this one, and that one. And then when you give it, this right here locks the transmission. And then you got to shift through the gears, but I wasn't really comfortable with all that. So I sold that transmission and uh, and I went with uh, Hus Huska. I can't remember his name. I can't remember. A TA performance, some transmission. I can't remember the certain transmission place I went to this. I have no problems with it. I will put it in. I can't think right now. And uh, I'll put it in the description of the transmission I've got right now. I've been through a lot of transmission, guys. And this guy right here, Dave Husek. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. Yeah, the transmission, Dave Husek. Sorry for the bright light. But this is probably about the best transmission I ever had. And I've been through a lot of them. I've been through a lot of brands, a lot of the guys' name, you know, popular names. I have not had had zero issues with this transmission. I had it for like three, probably about five years now. And um, I'm really happy with it. And I will leave his name and description down in below. Hey, I, this is top-notch stuff. I've run his converter, his transmission, and this thing hooks and books. Enough said. So I have not taken to the track yet, but man, this thing is awesome. So uh let's go on back to the tour of the car all right like i say this right here i'm going to re remove when i first got the car um this right here was in it this is an old uh kenny bell switches and stuff like that but i never used this anyway so i'm trying to leave it in here just to remember that when i first bought the car back in 93 that this was in here and uh, I don't want to remove it because it's like memories for me. So I don't know. I might, I'm just going to leave that in here. It's not hurting anything. So, you know. Um, and then also, I've got that right there Buick One of One. The reason why I say it's Buick GNX One of One is because it's a Grand National with a GNX kit and it has my touch and my flair to it. You know what I'm saying? So, let me pop the hood. But yeah, it has leather seats that I hadn't done. The GNX on the headrest. This is a Grand National, not a GNX, guys. But I went with the GNX theme. It's all leather. I wanted to go with the Heather's, the leather, um, the heated seats, but I was like, shoot, I ain't in here in the weather time. I ain't gonna try to drive in the winter. So, uh, just got leather seats. I could have went with the heated, but but right here, everything's leather. Panels of leather. I had the uh, covers that go over this. It had the V6 on it, but I lost it. I don't know where it is. I need to reorder some from TR Customs, but I'll get that done soon. But yeah, guys, this is this is it. All right, let's go on out here and check out the hood. Uh, check out the hood. That's how dirty it is. Let me clean it. So, right here is underneath the hood of the Grand National. Um, I'm going to run a quick rundown of everything I've got done to it. Uh, basically, guys, uh, all you new subscribers, like I say, this is the eight, uh, 2017 ZL1 Camaro. I've been modified. It's, it's fully modified. Uh, I don't know what else I can do to it. Uh, this Grand National has been modified. I don't know what else I can do to it other than upgrade the turbos, but I don't want to do that. But uh, when I redid the car, you got... I redid the brake lines, fuel lines, uh, the engines be redone, redone. Uh, it's a stroker, 3.8, has a stroker kit in it, 
has the front mount intercooler by RJC, uh, bigger turbo uh, heads by TA Performance. I think these are Eliminator series right here. I had port work done to them. Real great job. The TR6 uh, coil pack, awesome. And that, that does a lot of features to it, but the guys who built the car tuned in there, they, I don't know what they set it on, but it does a good job. It does a real good job. I'm pretty sure you can do more, but um, I'm not familiar with it yet. Um, I have 72 pound injectors, which I probably can upgrade later on. Kenny Bell headers, uh, Terry Houston downpipe. And like I say, I have the uh, Alki Control dual methanol kit. So this is off of methanol and gas also. That's off methanol and gas also. And then I'm running a classic uh, classic fast uh, tuning system that's been installed. What else I got? I got the dual fuel pumps and the tank by Racetronics. Uh, a lot of people be asking about these wheels. And these are the 18-inch uh, semi wheels. These are 18 by 10 in the back. And I know these are 18 by nine in the front. It might be nine, yeah, 18 by nine in the front. Uh, what else can I go with? Fuel pressure gauges here. Uh, I might be able to start this one up. Well, what the heck? Let's start this up and see what it sounds like right now. Okay, let me... Raise this garage door open. And uh, we'll start this car up. It's late, but I don't really care. See that light right there is out. I need to fix that. Shift light. Of course, your boy got the HDID lights. HID lights. Yeah. Uh, and back here, I've got the LED tail lights. Sorry if I can't get a good vision of it, but let me show y'all something. See this. Sorry guys, a lot of stuff's in the way. This one. You see that? 
Hold on, let me turn these. Okay, y'all see that? I'm sorry for all the junk, guys. But it's back then and my truck's in front of it. But we'll give y'all a quick look at what I got. Yeah. So that's what's on that. So yeah, guys, this right here, this right here is a fun car to drive. Like I say, it has the kit on it, it has the flares on it. Everything looks good. Like I say, right here, this is a bad boy too. I would start this up, but it's kind of late right now and it's loud. So I don't want to do nobody like that. So also it has the uh, Kitty Bell throttle body. Uh, had it ported. The the plant uh, the intake's been ported to match the heads. So everything is matched. The heads right here. Uh, what else? The timing cover's been ported for better oil pressure. Uh, I spent a lot of money on this car. Everything is like top shape. I mean, everything. I, I don't know if I can do, I can't top this off. I can't really do anything else to this car. If I want to make better power, all I have to do is add another turbo, some injectors, and get a good tune on it. But right now, the tink, I think the tune right now is set for this right here. So I won't be doing that. So, but yeah, guys. And you can see is how pretty the, you know, it's real nice outside tonight. And I really don't want to disturb nobody, so uh, uh, this is what it is. All right, guys, it was just like a quick video. Uh, for all your new subscribers, uh, for what I've got in my garage, these are my supercars right here, you know? Uh, well, that, that right there, uh, that's bad. This is, my, this is my favorite right here. But, yeah. So, with that being said, guys, uh, thank y'all guys for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for the support. Please, please keep supporting the channel, please. And uh, if this is your first time checking out the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and turn all your post notifications so you know when I post a video. So this right here is just a quick video of what I've got in my garage for all your new subscribers. 87 Grand National, 2017 Camaro ZL1. And pretty soon I might be adding something else in the garage also. I'm still looking, and uh, we have to put something else on the channel. This is built, that's built, it's time to build something else. So with that being said, guys, thank y'all for the support. Thanks for watching the channel. And y'all have a good weekend. Peace.